la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa nabiyyuhu wa rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam today walhamdulillah thumma walhamdulillah i want just to share very quickly a reminder to you and to myself that today we have demonstrated to the entire world walhamdulillah including human beings and jinn that the ummah of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the greatest ummah in the history of humankind that walhamdulillah we as an ummah not as a nation state not as a government not with no army, with no navy, with no national treasury, that alhamdulillah, we are the greatest ummah in the history of mankind. And we are, alhamdulillah, believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way that Allah has commanded us and we follow Allah's command, we obey Allah's laws, without any police department. There's no mukhabarat that travels around to see, are you fasting? There's no one checking your bank account to see if you pay zakah. Well, alhamdulillah, you do it because you want to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is amazing. That well, alhamdulillah, every Muslim around the world will fast as the Prophet ﷺ fasted. They will pray as the Prophet ﷺ prayed. They will give zakah, alhamdulillah, the way the Prophet ﷺ and his companions gave zakah. In a world that today, subhanAllah, is filled with all kinds of technology, that still the Ummah of Rasulullah ﷺ. Thank you, Aki. Okay. Uh, my voice is powerful, but not that powerful. I think we might need some technical assistance. That alhamdulillah, the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has demonstrated that we are alhamdulillah worthy to be the Khalifa to Allah fil ard. And when we say Khalifa, what do we mean? I'm talking about the Quranic definition of Khalifa. The Quranic definition of Khalifa. That body that would convey the message La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah from one generation to the next generation. That's what makes you Khalifa. Not because you're in charge of a government. Not because you're in charge of, of, of a military, but because you are in charge of preserving the salah and the zakat and the siyam and the hajj. Walhamdulillah, believing in Allah, this is what makes us the one who would carry the burden to the next generation. Walhamdulillah, Allah has empowered us. Empowered us as an ummah that we are all fasting the same way all over the world. Whether whatever madhab you follow, alhamdulillah, from dawn until sunset, the same way. Subhanallah, with all of our races and ethnicities and languages, everyone, subhanallah, following in that way makes us powerful. Our prayer, alhamdulillah, our spending in Allah's cause, our reading as a global community of the Qur'an from the beginning to the end, every day in Ramadan, reciting Allah's book, standing in the night, you should be proud to say, I am part of the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, I just want to remind you, maybe you forgot. In Ramadan, you had some interesting experiences. 
Maybe if you were a young person, you were sitting there and you had piece of pizza you were saving for suhoor. And then you look at the time and the time passed and the pizza is talking to you. Abdullah, just eat me, just a little bit. And you say, no, Allah, no, Allah sees me. Alhamdulillah, when they came to the Prophet Sallallahu and the Prophet was asked by a man whose garment was exceedingly white and his hair was exceedingly dark and there was no sign of travel on him and none of us knew him. And he asked him, what is Ihsan? He said it is to worship Allah as if you see him. Knowing, alhamdulillah, that you don't see Allah but that Allah sees you. Our children, alhamdulillah, have learned to have this relationship of taqwa with Allah that they obey Allah even when no one sees them. Now you know the United States incarcerates more of its own people than any other nation in the world. They need Islam. Because if those people had accepted this devotion to Allah, they would obey the law in public and in private. Well, alhamdulillah, in this month, you have been able to master your impatience. That for a month, well, alhamdulillah, you've been able to cool your passions. In a month, you've been able to tighten your relationship with Allah such that it empowers you to do it and say things that are right no matter who doesn't like it. Walhamdulillah, from this month Allah has promised us a reward without limit. Our dua, subhanAllah, without limit Allah can answer it. Do you know subhanAllah there's no people that came with a prophet except that the prophet asked them to do something that would benefit them. The poor people came to the Prophet وسلم, and they said, Ya Rasulullah, we're following and we're doing what you ask us to do. But how can we get the reward that the rich people get? Because they can give lot in zakat. In Ramadan, people gave a lot of zakat. Maybe some people they said, Imam, I don't I can't give that much. But Allah in his mercy. Alhamdulillah gave the Prophet something that he gave to us. And that is, he said, when you finish the salah, say subhanallah 33 times, alhamdulillah, 33 times, Allahu Akbar, 33 times, subhanallah, la ilaha illallah, and Allah is going to give you a great reward. Like the reward the rich people get. SubhanAllah, the poor people, they start making the athqar. And then after a few days, they come back to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they said. They said, Ya Rasulullah, we have a problem. Now the rich people are doing it too. How can we keep up with them? They're giving money and they're making the dhikr. How are we going to keep up with them? The Prophet وسلم, in the riwayah, he said, Allah will reward you based on your sincerity. They said, SubhanAllah, we're strict. If it's about sincerity, when we, we don't have nothing, we gave up our food in Ramadan, we gave up money in Ramadan, we gave up everything. If it's based on sincerity, then SubhanAllah, even a poor person has a chance. And so for us, alhamdulillah, from our sincerity. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to continue after the month of Ramadan has finished. The Prophet Sallallahu said anyone who fasts the month of Ramadan and completes it and follows it with six days of fasting, it would be as if they fasted all year. That means I know that we're eating today, I love eating today, subhanAllah. The sunnah to eat before you come to the prayer. This, this eat. I love it, but in a day or two, subhanAllah, I'm going to go back. Because I've become habituated to waking up in the middle of the night. I've become habituated reading the Quran. I've become habituated in spinning in the last cause. Now that I have the habit, subhanAllah, just keep going. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might reward you with the best in this life and the best in the hereafter.
ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا أذاب النار وخلنا الجنة ما أبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه جميعاً بعد. I just beloved brothers and sisters, I want to congratulate you. It has been for many of us a great month, and I want to tell you two short stories. Two. The first story is about a child I met. Last Eid, Darul Noor Islamic Center. And I went over to him after the, the Eid prayer, and you know, you're shaking everybody's hands. And I said, how do you feel? And he said, Alhamdulillah. I'm kind of sad, you know, it's sad, Alhamdulillah. Not, not, the, not the, Alhamdulillah. He was like, Alhamdulillah. So I said, well, why you say it like that? You know, and your parents, they look at you like, come on, say it the right way. He said, you know, alhamdulillah. I said, you seem a little sad. He said, yes, I'm sad. I said, well, why are you sad? He said, because Ramadan is over. Now you think for a child, Ramadan is over, they'd be happy, right? Not like you. I said, well, why, why are you sad that Ramadan's over? He said, because in Ramadan, I get to have dinner with my family every night. And now that the month is over, we go back to the way we used to be. He said, in Ramadan, every night I see my friends. I, I, I pray a little and then we go and play a little. Every night. Every night. Morning in Ramadan, my parents wake me up and we have suhoor together and we spend family time, it's just us. No TV, no radio, no cell phone, no text message, no Facebook, nothing, just us. He said, for me, that's Ramadan. And when Ramadan is over, we go back to the way we used to be. And so I'm inviting you, don't go back to the way you used to be especially for your children. Keep them, we live in America very isolated. Maybe if you are uh, back home or down home, you open the back door and you run out and go and visit and play with your friends and your grandmother and your uncles are there. In America, you can't do that. You're afraid just to go in the hallway. Ramadan is an opportunity to create the gatheredness of the Ummah. And so I'm inviting you parents to inconvenience yourselves after Ramadan to continue the relationship with Allah and that relationship with our community. The second story is to tell you about a woman I spoke to who received some zakat al-fitr. When she received the call to tell her that she's going to be a recipient, a recipient of Zakat al-Fitr, she broke down and started crying. She said, I stayed up all night. I couldn't go to sleep because I'm an old woman and I'm a widow and I don't have any sustenance. So I just stayed up all night praying to Allah in Ramadan that somehow Allah would bless me to have a few dollars just to fix my car and pay my rent. She said, I apologize that I'm breaking down, but I'm just so grateful to the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She said, tell the brothers and sisters who gave this sadaqah, tell them, alhamdulillah, I'm making dua for them, that Allah might bless them and their families because they care for an old widow like me. That's who you are. And so I'm going to tell you today, you were hungry in Ramadan for taqwa. Stay hungry. 
You are hungry in Ramadan to be in Jama'ah. Stay hungry. You are hungry in Ramadan for peace around the world and justice. Alhamdulillah, stay hungry. You were hungry all day in Ramadan for the love of Allah and you were hungry to be near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Stay hungry. And you were hungry in Ramadan to walk in the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Stay hungry. Stay hungry, walhamdulillah, not for the things of this world, but for the love of Allah and His Rasul and His Ummah. Allahumma dina fi man hadayt. Allah, guide us among those whom you have guided. Protect us among those whom you have protected. Take us as a friend, Ya Allah, among those whom you have taken as a friend. Oh Allah, we ask for your mercy and your peace on those who are suffering, Ya Allah, around the corner and around the world. Oh Allah, we ask that you help us to become emissaries of your peace. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam wa tabarak tayyadam jalali wal ikram. O oh Allah, we ask, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasnatan, wa fi al-akhirati hasnatan, wa kina adhab al-nar, wa khinna jannata ma'abrar, ya aziz, ya ghafar, ya rabbul alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi kareem, wa ala alihi wa sahabi jmain, amin. Takbir, 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 wa lila alham. Eid Mubarak to you all, go out, have some fun. And don't forget to donate. Samir is going to look at me. Don't forget to donate generously. Well, alhamdulillah. And, and by the way, um, if I look Moroccan today, that's because today is, is Moroccan day. Alhamdulillah. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak Saeed. Eid Mubarak Saeed. Eid Mubarak Saeed. Eid Mubarak Saeed. Let me turn this off. Thank you, Thank you. الله عليك يا أكرمك الله ما شاء الله أكرمك الله جزاك الله خير والله بي بي you gotta find your pocket in this house الحمد لله أكرمك الله إيه كريم excuse me إيمان yes ask إيه مبارك مبارك الحمد لله كلن ذكي yes الله الله ما شاء الله Okay, things are good, Shane. Oh, okay, I'm, well, I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad I got to see you, Shane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm the love. Yeah. I love it. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, Moon. You get everywhere, man. You are everywhere. I love it. Let, let's take another one. I was, I was looking away, man. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. This is more. This is time, man. Yeah. Allah. There you go. Allah. Yeah. No. We, All right. Good job, man. Good job. I, I look, I'm dressed like Moroccan, but I'm salam like Sudan. I'm Sudanese. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Allah, very good. Shaykh, Allah. Ameen, Ameen, Ah, ah, okay. Alhamdulillah. We got the high tech here, you see. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Oh. I got one next to me. Is there any Latinos speaking for uh, you say uh, Latinos? You say if you can speak. Well, okay, let's first speak English then. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. We have a Spanish speaking television station here. And if there are any Spanish speaking Muslims in the house, if you will come to the library, bidnillah, for a short interview to share with the Spanish speaking world how we celebrate Eid in our community, bidnillah. If you're Spanish speaking, uh, inshallah, if you'll join us in the library for a small, uh, short interview, bidnillah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, sir? Alhamdulillah. Eid Mubarak. I was really blessed with you. Alhamdulillah. Eid Kareem. Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? Thank you, Shaykh. Thank you. Wa alaikum. Assalamu Eid Kareem. Alhamdulillah. Can you? Inshallah. Thank you. 
Alhamdulillah. All right. <laughs> All right. Why is Allah? You ready for two Inshallah. Somebody. Please. How's the family, man? Alhamdulillah. How many babies now? Two. So two. Far. Allah. So far. So far. So far. He been married a year and a half. He got two children One, already. Just give a couple more, please. <laughs> He's still hungry. <laughs> No, no, that's it, man. It's a quarter. You got a quarter system. Why is I love that video, Sheikh. Eat Kareem. Inshallah, may Allah continue. Yeah, Inshallah. Yeah, SubhanAllah. Takbir. Takbir. Uh, you got it? You, you got it? See the aunt? Allah. Okay. Hey, hey, Alhamdulillah. All right, man. We're going to be on Instagram, man. Watch out. Everybody, back, where's back home? Where's back home? Bangladesh. Everybody, Bangladesh is going to see this. Zakat. Alhamdulillah. One more with this. Alhamdulillah. Yes, sweetie. Oh, different daddy. Okay, sorry. Allah. We gotta be close. Can you make it wider? Or closer? All right, we just squeeze in. Literally squeeze. All right, man, we're going to Bangladesh, man, so you just gotta be right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Allah, wa Inshallah, stay hungry. Alhamdulillah. Eid Kareem. Kulan tu khair. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alhamdulillah. The Samsung Galaxy, see? Yeah, Galaxy, mashallah. One more. One more. Yeah. All right, alhamdulillah. I love it if we get that. Come on, may Allah accept it. Has. Got to give this brother Islam real quick here. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Allah. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah accept it from us. Inshallah. My handsome brother. Alhamdulillah. He always say, you could look like dirt, man. He'd be like, my handsome brother. We used to go to school again. Oh, yeah. He was always an A student, man. I mean, this guy was mum By the time by the time you saw me. Before then, yeah, it was a road. You know, he used to cut the lights on and say, Hassan, hurry up, man. You're too slow. Way in the back with the B minus. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Come close. Yeah, that was a beautiful cook. How's everything? Man? Everything is peaceful. How, how, how the youth, man? I mean, you, did, you guys did fantastic this Ramadan. Inshallah. It's man, amazing. I, it's I, amazing. I have, I have a lot of busy with Palace and Alfredos, inshallah. I mean. I mean, I mean. I remember, I, Allah. I remember when this guy, <laughs> man. I remember this guy. He was, he was like little people, man. Yeah, man when he was two years old. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Now I got to look up, man. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. All right, so what's on tap, man? I'm trying to finish college. Inshallah. Inshallah. Try, don't try. Just finish college. I'm finishing college. That's it. Inshallah. That's it. Salaam alaikum. I got, to, I got to get this guy right here. I got to get him. You, you know who this guy is? You know who this is? You know who this is? Nobody. You know who this is? You know who this is? I'm nobody. Not you. This is Matthew Bray's son. Mashallah, mashallah. It's Matthew's son. It don't take much time, brother. This Give me is the Matt. one. The one he was giving that talk yeah, on the yeah, 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 yeah. Mashallah, mashallah. Like Sound like hmm? Muslim, Muslim Prison Project back in the day, day, day. First National Muslim Prison Project. I used to go to his father's house because I'd be calling on the phone, right? And the uh, phone just keep ringing and ringing and ringing. I'm like, man, this brother need to get an answer machine, <laughs> right? I get to the house, he's there, right? I said, I, you know, I love you and everything, brother, you know, because, I mean, he, he was, back then, he was Matthew Gray, and I was, you know, so I was, like, sneaking in, oh, brother Matthew, you know, hey, man, you 